Hey YouTube, it's Frank Castle here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to downgrade um, the new operating system Lion back to Snow Leopard. If you're doing this, it's because maybe some programs is not compatible. Um, mostly if you're doing, you know, uh, music, using Pro Tools, Logic, other recording programs, they might not work online. You might get error messages. Right now, um, Pro Tools LE is what a lot of, you know, people might be using. And we're going to try to click on that. I'm going to show you guys the error message that will come up. So as that load and Pro Tools LE unable to locate hardware. Okay. So actually, if I plug the hardware in, most likely I will be getting an error message. And um, I'm going to be doing screen. Since I'm screen flowing right now, I don't want to you know mess up the computer but most likely you know you're gonna plug in the hardware as soon as you plug it into your firewire 800 or 400 whatever you're currently using for a pro tools le8 you will get a um a message that's it's not working so let's try logic you don't need any hardware for that you can't use this version of application logic logic express with this version of mac os x that's pretty much so yeah so what you want to do is you want to go to your disk utility and let's go to applications, utilities. We're gonna go to just utility, and um, I'm just gonna show you guys. And well, not I'm gonna tell you guys more because I'm using ScreenFlow right now, and I don't wanna you know stop the ScreenFlow. So what you're gonna do right here? Here's your Mac hard drive. What you wanna do is make a portion. So basically, gonna go on the top of that, make a portion, kind of like you're doing um, you know, Windows Seven or whatever Windows. So basically you just go to add and if you wanted to make, you know, another portion, you can resize it and give it any size you want that you feel is appropriate for your Snow Leopard. Um, on my other MacBook Pro, I actually did this process because I didn't, I wanted Lion on one of them and I don't really don't use Pro Tools on this MacBook Pro, I use it more on the other MacBook Pro so I kind of gave the other one about 60 gigs on Snow Leopard because it's going to be strictly for Pro Tools only and I kept lying on there and you know so what you're gonna do is make a portion go to add make a portion give it how much size you want make sure it's Mac OS extended journal and you're gonna do that it should take a little bit and then after you're done that should have the portion and then what you're gonna do is try to get the installation disk maybe that came with it or um that came with it or maybe a USB so I wanna quit this process because I don't wanna I don't want to do this on this Mac so yeah once you do that you can if you have the installation disk or you have a USB thumb drive you're gonna restart your computer you're gonna hold down option or you're gonna hold down C and you're gonna do the process straight from there and um, it's gonna insulate put the installation disk in there and then you have the ability to you most likely you're gonna have to reinstall Pro Tools if you have the disk you're gonna to have to reinstall it because if you have it on Lion, you won't be able to bring it over to Snow Leopard. I tried that already. So if you have the disc and if you actually bought the software like I did, it's easier. But if you have a stolen copy or off the internet or whatever, we download it, burn it to a CD or a thumb drive or whatever, and reinstall it that way. Um, other than that, you won't be able to keep Pro Tools or any other programs. So basically, that's how you downgrade from Lion. And um, you can actually kind of have two portions. If you still want to keep lying, you can keep it on the other side of the hard drive. If you don't want to, you can delete that portion and just make the other portion the full Snow Leopard. But, you know, just keep lying around. If you have a hard drive that's big enough, like I do, I think I have in this MacBook Pro that I'm currently doing screen flow. I have 320 gigs. So that's not really a problem. The other MacBook Pro that I was currently doing have 500 gigs. So it's not really an issue for space. So that's basically how you downgrade Lion. I wish I could show you guys more, but actually the other MacBook Pro is still installing Snow Leopard right now. So if you guys need any help, just hit me up. Hope you like this video. Please subscribe and check out my other videos. And I am out.